What up everybody, it's your boy Mastermind coming to you live from my lavish studio apartment. I'm totally joking, it's from my mom's house. So this is gonna be a new segment right here called Nuggets of Truth. Now you might wonder, what's this segment gonna be about? Well before I explain, I'm just gonna let you know right away that this is probably gonna be the longest version of it because I'm introducing you guys to exactly what it's gonna be about. But it's called Nuggets of Truth and basically it's gonna be a short segment about just that. Little tidbits of truth just to whet your appetite so that you'll come back wanting more. I mean after all, who doesn't like nuggets, right? I mean, if you were mining and you actually found a little gold nugget, wouldn't you be crazy? I mean, like, you know, I would probably be freaking out if I actually found a really big chunk of gold. But if I found just a little nugget and that's all I ever found, I'd probably be running around crazy. I'd probably be running around like I just won a $10 million lottery. Because, I mean, is gold even worth that much? I don't even know. Could somebody, could somebody tell me how much a gold is worth? Like a little gold nugget? I guess it just depends on the size of the nugget, right? I mean, after all, who doesn't like chicken nuggets? When was the last time you went to McDonald's and you thought, oh, maybe I want a salad? No, you definitely want the chicken nuggets, whether if it's a four piece, a 10 piece, or even a 20 piece, unless maybe you're a vegetarian. If you're a vegetarian, I apologize. Not really. Like I said, it's just a little segment just to, you know, whet your appetite for some truth so that if you want to seek more of the truth, then you know exactly where to go looking for it. So in case you've been living under a rock or you haven't really been checking out a lot of the viral video trends, who does that? Am I right? Who does that? So there's this video out called Iguana vs. Snakes, and when I watched it and I had a conversation with a good friend of mine, all of a sudden, we just started talking about all these different little nuggets of truth that were set in that little video, and I was like, wow, she's right. There, there really is a lot of stuff in here. If you really take the time to look at this stuff in the spirit, you can really see a lot of stuff that's being put out there, even if it's just a, a little documentary video, which is exactly what's going on here. Even though it's just a documentary, there's still a lot of stuff that you can get out of it. So we're gonna take a look at that right now. So, without further ado, little, little dashy reference here, let's get into this. So right away in the beginning of the video, the narrator says something interesting. Snake's eyes aren't very good, but they can detect movement. So if the hatchling, aka the iguana, keeps its nerve, it may just avoid detection. Now this is what scripture says. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8 says this, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Psalm 37 verse 32 says, The wicked watcheth the righteous, and seeketh to slay him. So just like the snakes, in this video, they are looking around, slithering around, seeking whom they may devour, which in this case is the lone iguana in the midst, unaware. See, the enemy's eyes aren't very good. It doesn't see everything. And if you're hidden away in the shadow of the Almighty, the enemy can't even see you. So in other words, if you're progressing in your faith, you know, if you're growing in your calling and you're walking forward and you're not just remaining idle in your life, then the enemy can detect that movement and therefore it attempts to attack you. And just like in the video, as soon as the snake is ready to attack the iguana, it makes a run for it. So then begins the chase. And then this is the interesting thing. A whole bunch of snakes start chasing after it. See, the minute that you start to move in your life, all of a sudden, the enemy tries to throw everything it has at you. It tries to chase you down and get you. And right as soon as that moment hits, bam! Just right there, the enemy thinks that it has its prey. It thinks it's got you right where it wants you, and you get caught in a snare, and then it starts to wrap around it. But here's the interesting thing. Even as it seems like this is the end for our hero, the iguana, it tries to get out, but instead of panicking, it stands still a bit, and it inches its way out until it sees an opening. And then somehow, boom, it manages to escape, even though he got stuck for a little bit. He didn't just give up and let his fate be determined by the snake. He managed to find an opening and escape. Then the most interesting thing happens. He manages to see the mountain. Therefore, he sees his destination. He sees the ultimate fate in which he's meant to do. So then he begins to climb. And as he's climbing, he sees the snakes. But then he manages to jump and jump. And then finally, he escapes. So ladies and gentlemen, as you see, there is a mountain that you're meant to climb. There is that ultimate goal. There is that ultimate peak that you're meant to reach. So as long as you manage to keep focus and keep on the path, and even though you might get stuck here and there, you look for that opening and you allow God to guide you through it and he shall see you all the way to the top of the mountain and you will escape the plans of the enemy and you will destroy it and you will reach your ultimate goal, which is to be with your Father in heaven and achieve all that he has set forth for you. I pray that you were blessed by this video and be sure to stick around for more nuggets of truth. This is Mastermind saying have a blessed day 
and see you later.